All right, so this is the opening screen when you first open PE Design. Unless you have said to always show this and uncheck that, you will always see this startup screen here. I generally don't use this personally, but you certainly have a lot of options from that screen. You can get um, access to the instruction manual. You can um, use a template design, create patterns using an image, which is going to be your auto punch. Uh, you can also set up the hoop size and the fabric pieces that you will plan to be using. You can import patterns here or open an embroidery design as well. Um, these are my personal most recent used files. Those will also show which I could click and go from here. Like I said, I generally do just close that wizard. Across the top here, you can see that I am in inches and I have um, from four to zero and zero to four. So I have an eight by eight inch hoop right here. In the upper left hand corner of that screen, you can see that it says inches. If I would like to see that in millimeters, all I have to do is click on it and it will change. And again, click to go back. So it's very easy to alter what it is that you're seeing to make that your personal preference. If we go up to the flower in the upper left hand corner and we come down here, the design settings is just over halfway down. If we select that, it gives us some other information that we can choose how we want our screen to look. Right here is what type of machine that you would have. So these here are going to be your standard embroidery machines. These here would be your multi-needle machines. So whatever machine yours looks like, that would be the selection piece that you would like it to be. If you have um, a multi-needle machine, your hoop sizes will be different options. So it's based on what's available for that machine, which is why it's important to choose the appropriate piece. You will also see that uh, the direction will change. So the multi-needles actually work horizontally. So you'll see that that will change a little bit there. And um, it, it just, again, it gives you the view that is appropriate for what your machine is. So if I have a standard single needle, I'm changing the thread embroidery machine. I've got this selected here, and I've got all of the different hoops that are available for those machines right now. I can select whichever one is what I would like to build my design in. So if I said I wanted a five by seven, you can see that it would grow that inside of that box there. If I wanted to work on that horizontally, I can rotate it 90 degrees, and it still shows me which side would be up. So I would be correct in my hooping later on. And again, if I didn't mean to hit that, but I did it on accident, I can change that back just as easily. When I hit OK, then my white box here comes into play and it shows me the size that I would like to work in.